Hey everybody, it's Kevin from 3D Printed Props. In today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at this awesome Big Lebowski, the dude statue that you can actually buy yourself. So I am loving these statues, one without glasses, one with glasses. Now these are two statues that I commissioned. Uh, I cannot sculpt yet. I don't know if I could ever get to this level of detail. These are amazing. You can actually buy either the files and, or the, the model itself. I'm actually going to try putting some of these up on Etsy. There's only going to be a few to start. So take a look and see when they're going to be there. Uh, but the files are there. I think they're like $10 or something like that. I love these things. I'm a huge fan of the movie. Let's go back uh, behind the fake wall to see how I finish these. Okay, so I removed supports and I gave it a rough sand with about a 400 grit sandpaper. And now I'm just wet sanding it. And this is a 600 grit. And this is the beauty of resin prints, right? So little cleanup. But make sure after you do a wet sand, you wash it with soap and water to get that film off. You can see it all grimy. And here it is washed, and it is amazing. I mean, resin printing, I love it. So now that it's printed up, we're gonna I'm gonna try to use rub and buff actually. I was gonna use paint, but I decided, hey, let's try some rub and buff. This is a bronze because I wanted to give that bronze statue look. And I hadn't primed this either. I wanted to see what would happen if I didn't prime it. And rub and buff goes on really well, whether it's primed or not. Uh, I will prime the one with sunglasses and see if there's any sort of difference in how it sort of takes. Uh, if you hear any noise, it's because I'm getting some work done on the house. And that's, I can't time that when they start using the screwdriver. So here we go. Go ahead and adding this. I wear gloves because once this stuff gets on your fingers, it's a real pain to get off. Now, there's all these little cr you know, cracks and crevices. I went ahead and used a brush. After you use a brush uh, with rub and buff, you're going to have to use uh, sort of paint removal, to, you know, like turpentine or something to get it off. Or if it's a cheapy brush, chuck it. That's what I end up usually doing. And again, all these little spots, just getting in there and finishing the model up. I'm really liking how this dark bronze works. And there he is. There is the dude. But I thought it was a little too monochromatic. So I went ahead and got the gold rub and buff, uh, which is uh, obviously a lot shinier and uh, yellowier, if that's a word. And I'm going over the highlights. So like the places you would touch the statue and you can see how the hair is starting to shine up. So like if you touch those areas, like the nose of the statue or whatnot, the forehead, they look more worn, they would be shinier. And that really, really sold the whole metallic bronze statue look. And uh, I was really, really pleased with it and just super happy with how this turned out. I cannot wait to print a larger one once I get a larger resin printer, which I'm very, very much wanting. I can't imagine how cool this would look huge. Okay, and that's it. Super simple when you've got a resin printer. Very, very simple cleanup, a little bit of sanding, and then some real just fun with the rub and buff. Super happy with how these turned out. And again, you can pick up the files for these over on my Etsy page, and that's uh, over on Etsy, and my, my shop is uh, 3D Printed Props Stuff. Uh, there's a link below, of course. You can check that out, favorite it, and then you'll see stuff when it's added. And uh, yeah, these are super cool. I really like these. Uh, rub and buff always surprises how well this stuff works out. Well, if you like the video, guys, just go ahead and click like and subscribe and hit the little bell. This way you'll know when more videos are present. And tell me which one you like. Do you like the guy with glasses or without glasses in the comments below? I'd love to hear from you. And maybe any other sculpts or things you'd like to see on my Etsy page. All right, everybody, take it easy and have a great day.